Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Dayglo Buffalo and this is Let's Play Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. When we last left off, we were with George, who had just shown up at Nico's place. Talked to the um, flower vendor out here. And so let's head upstairs. Remembering the flower seller's advice, I pushed the door gently just above the lock. Hi. Bonjour. I'm glad you could make it, monsieur. Uh, please, uh, call me George. Fine. I'm Nicole. Take a seat, George. What, he couldn't ring the doorbell? Eh bien? And what have you been up to? I've been exploring the sewers underneath the cafe. I thought I could smell something bad. The clown used the sewer to escape and to change out of his costume. I guess he was in a hurry. He left his jacket behind. And? I got his tailor's phone number. You had better luck than I did. Luck, she said. Luck. Hard work, I'd call it. What happened? My editor told me to drop the story. Can you believe it? But you're not going to do that. Oh, no. I'm going to find out what's behind these killings. It just doesn't add up. It almost feels like some sort of conspiracy. The police in three different countries have kept very quiet about the murders. The press don't connect them at all. They blame them on political, religious, or militant minority extremists. Well, that covers just about everyone. Okay, so we can talk about her or the clown. Well, the clown seems to be the matter at hand. Tell me more about the clown's previous victims. The first was Arno Bellotta, the millionaire pharmaceutical baron. He made his money from amphetamines in the post-war slimming and diet boom. Imagine it, millions of housewives literally speeding their butts off. The only witness in the case was his Filipino au pair. She swears he was lured to his death by a snowman. What about the clown's second victim? Yamada, the controversial Japanese politician. He inherited his fortune from his father's electrochemical consortium. How did he die? At the hands, or should I say flippers, of a giant emperor penguin. A snowman, a penguin, and now a clown. I had been about to add mine to the list, but stopped myself. I really didn't want to have to explain to George about my father's involvement with Cachon. You know, I hate to admit it, but this is scary. And I'll tell you this, I will not be accepting any invitations to costume parties. I don't blame you for being scared. I am too. But this story could be my only chance for a big break. Or an early death. Hmm. Let's talk about the jacket. I found a piece of material near the cafe. When I showed it to the concierge, he recognized it right away. It's very distinctive, all right. Just wait until you see this. I developed the film I shot at the cafe. Here, George, it's an enlargement I made. Look what that guy's wearing. Checkered pants. The same material as I found in the sewer. That's right. This guy shouldn't be difficult to find. Oh, no? Take a close look at his eye cheek. A scar in the shape of a horseshoe. Or a crescent moon. Well, apparently now we know his face. I found this tissue down the sewer. <laughs> That's disgusting, George. No, no, no. I think the stuff on it is grease paint. Like actors use, or clowns? It's still disgusting. Get rid of it. Okay. I found this false nose in the sewer. Hey, what's this inside it? The contents of someone's nose? Don't be cross, George. It says La Rite du Monde. Masks and costumes. It's a costume shop near the Gare Saint Lazare. I'll check it out. Maybe the owner remembers who hired the clown costume. Well, now that we have a picture. <laughs> this is the tool I use to get into the sewers. Fascinating, George. You're not interested, are you? Oh, of course I am. I think it was very brave of you to go down those sewers. Yeah? Well, it was kind of scary, but, well, I had a job to do. I thought it was going to, well, he, he made the motion, but he, he thought he was going to plop that thing on her. <laughs> On her table, just go boom. I use this. How come you enlarged this photograph of me? 
Because I noticed the guy behind you, of course. Yeah, she didn't really enlarge a picture of him. She enlarged, like, a section of his neck. And his shoulders, like, not exactly going like, Ooh, let's have a picture of this guy. No. Tell me more about yourself. <laughs> There's nothing much to tell. Well, how'd you get into photography? I guess I owe that to my father. He bought me my first camera. I was eight, and my parents had just split up. Okay. Not very important. Did you live with your father? Yes. My mother went off with her new boyfriend. I didn't mind. Papa was all I needed. Four years later, he died in a plane crash. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. I don't mind talking about him. He was more like an older brother, really. Always joking and laughing. Papa always wanted me to study art. That's why I went to college. More backstory. Did you learn about photography at college? God, no. I couldn't afford the materials. We were billed for everything we used. Paint, canvas, paper. Most of my year turned to minimalism. It was cheaper. I used to go poaching in the park for squirrel hair. The only time I wasn't hungry was the term I did printing. I used to eat the potatoes. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Oh, no. Okay, so I guess we exhausted all the dialogue options. So... I have to go. Okay, I'll see you later. And boom. You got his butt kicked out. All right, Paris, clown chasing. Visited Nico in her apartment. Turns out her editor spiked the story. Seems some important guys are being assassinated by clowns and penguins and snowmen and mimes. While the police are keeping quiet about the murders. Not quite the vacation I expected. Nico's sharp. When I showed her the material that I found in the courtyard, she gave me a photograph she took at the scene. It shows a man emerging from the courtyard, wearing trousers made of the same material, and there's a scar on his cheek in the shape of a crescent moon. Inside the clown's nose, I found the name of a costume shop, from which the clown suit was hired. Great lead. Maybe she knows who the clown is. Oh, hi. Hello, my handsome friend. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Oh, what a hunk. He's a killer. I can see that. His eyes say it all. Okay. See Not you later. That's right, monsieur. You will. Not useful. So I guess here is La Risée du Monde. So off we go to the costume shop. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's the police station? Post the police? Bougerie, the cafe, so off we go. Wow, it's quite the colorful shop he's got here. A skeleton on a unicorn. And a gramophone. Nice. Just what you want to hear. Chopin, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, how do we turn it off? Maybe this way? Yep. Anyway, let's talk to the shopkeeper. Excuse me. Bonjour, monsieur. Please, come in. Welcome. Leave the mundane world behind, for in these four walls, fantasy is king. Uh, I don't want a costume. Didn't you ever dress up when you were a child? Not that I remember. Incredible! You'll be telling me next that you never shared your elder sister's lingerie. I don't have a sister, and I think I'd look pretty silly in a brassiere. I just need some information. Of course. How can I help you? 
Hmm. Well, let's start off with the obvious. Do you want this red nose back? Not after it's been worn, thank you. That's it? That's all he has to say? Does this dirty tissue mean anything to you? Hmm. Let me smell that. Best Imer's number seven, white pancake. Theatrical grease paint, right? Oh, oui, monsieur. La creme de la creme of Cespian accoutrement. Have you sold any of it recently? Yes, two cans. Two cans? I'm looking for a man who hired a clown costume from you. Oui, monsieur. I do not see how I can help. Don't you keep a record of costumes that you've rented out? Of course, monsieur, but... Uh... Well, then, I'd like to check your records. Give me the names of everyone who's rented a clown suit. Impossible. There are too many. And, you know, privacy issues? I mean, some guy walks in off the street and says, Hey, I would like to look at your records. Well, of course, monsieur, you. That's unlikely. Have you heard of a man named Plantile? I do not recall any one of that name. Here, take a look at this. What does this tool mean to you? Nothing, monsieur. Do you recognize this man? Ah oui, he was here this morning. That is the man to whom I sold the grease paint. I remember the scar on his face. He chose two costumes. Bozo the Clown, and Seamus the Pixie. A pixie? Very smart. Green silk with a taffeta lining. He gave me his name as Monsieur Khan. Okay, that's it, I guess, for this conversation. Thanks for your help, buddy. My pleasure, Monsieur. Allow me to shake you by the hand. Huh? Uh, well, okay. He's gonna have one of those electric thingies. Yep. What are you trying to do, kill me? You did not find it amusing? I never saw the funny side of electroshock therapy. Eh bien, it is yours to keep. A gift? Do I need a license? No, but I give you a word of warning, monsieur. What? Remember to switch it off before you visit the toilet. Yes, that is probably useful information. So, blah 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 blah. The guy in Nico's photograph, he bought grease paint from the costume shop and rented two costumes. Seamus, the pixie, and Bozo, the clown. Apparently, he called himself Khan. I'm on his trail. Here's the electro handshake thingy. So I guess that's it for here. So, we, ah, we can't even go back. So what's left? Should we go tell Nico? Back in Nico's apartment. Hi. Oh, hello. Yeah, I don't think she's going to appreciate that. So he's not going to tell her about Khan? I have to go. Okay, I'll see you later. Well, I guess he doesn't want to tell her for now. I wonder if there's anything more we can get from here. Well, let's go to the police first. Is this the same guy that was hanging out in front of the cafe? It was just some police paperwork, a search warrant. Could be useful. Excuse me, Sergeant. What do you want now? Is Rosso here? Yes, he is. You wish to speak to him? Sure, why not? Yes, I do. One moment, Monsieur. 
It's Tobart, monsieur. He insists on talking to you again. Did he say what it was about? No, monsieur. Very well. Hi, Inspector. Remember me? But of course, Mr. Stobard. My mind is a well-ordered faculty. A mental classification system that's the envy of the Bibliothèque Nationale. No tricks, mark you, monsieur. Just exercise. Just as our muscles waste through inactivity, so our minds decay. But there is no need. If only people would learn to exercise their wits daily. If he was trying to impress me, it worked. He was pompous and patronizing, but he had style. Eh bien, if you called about the bombing, you're too late. Investigations have been closed. But... I've been taken off the case. What about the murderer, the dead guy? It is out of my hands. Hmm. Interesting. Did you find out the ID of the guy who was killed in the explosion? I already knew who he was. Did you now? I heard that the bomb victim's name was Plantow. Your sources are reliable. He was a big shot at the treasury, wasn't he? Maybe that's why you've been taken off the case. I'm sorry, monsieur. I cannot comment. Don't you want to know what I found out about the killer? I told you, monsieur. The case is closed. I have washed my hands of the whole affair. Then I'll have to continue my investigations without your help. No. You must forget the business of the clown completely. Go back to being an ordinary tourist, Stobard. Well, police isn't very so useful. Long, Inspector. Do you know a man named Khan? He's a shifty looking guy with a scar on his right cheek. No, monsieur. Has this man any connection with the bombing of the cafe? Yes. I believe Khan was the name he used when he hired the clown costume. Did I show you my tool, Sergeant? Yes, Monsieur. Unfortunately, you did. Now, there was no double entendre in that conversation. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, monsieur. It's the guy who bombed the cafe. The clown. This man looks nothing like a clown. He's taken off his grease paint and costume. Then there is nothing to link this man with the killing. Nothing? Look at those murderous eyes. Hmm. Hardly likely to get him convicted. Yeah, that's not going to stand up in court. Are you sure you don't want this false nose? Don't try my patience, monsieur. Do you recognize this dirty tissue? I told you, no, monsieur. Would you like to shake my hand, sergeant? Not while I'm on duty, monsieur. The gesture could be misconstrued. Smart guy. See you later, sergeant. Was there anything more here? Nico's right. The police are ignoring these murders. Inspector Rosso refused to even discuss the incident. Since had it been taken off the case, it is beginning to look like a cover-up. It is beginning to look like a cover-up. Now can we talk to Nico? Hi. Oh, hello. Nope. Nothing new here. The guy at the novelty shop gave me this. What is it? A hand buzzer. You put it in your hand and give people electric shocks. Why? It's a gag. A practical joke. <laughs> if you ever use it on me, I'll break your arm. Okay, okay. I get the picture. I don't blame her. I have to go. Okay, I'll see you later. So apparently we're checking in with her after everything we do, but... George doesn't really want to talk to her or give her any additional information. Oh, maybe we can talk to the guy and show him the picture. Ask if that was whoever came up. Hi there, remember me? Ah, mais oui, Inspector. 
Have you found him? Who? The man in the sewer, of course. I'm uh, sifting through the evidence. Ah, uh, rather you than me, monsieur. So, uh, uh, when you are not uh, exploring sewers, uh, what do you do? I take a lot of showers. Oh, 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 oh very good, monsieur. <laughs> a policeman with a sense of humor. Hi there, remember me? Ah, mais oui, inspector. Who? The... I'm... Ah, so, uh, I take a... So maybe, I don't know, let's try and use this on him? Hi there, remember me? <laughs> Who? I'm... Ah, so I take a lot of... Oh. I guess not. Is there any point in going back down to the sewers? Well, maybe not now. Nothing here. This is all boarded up. The cat again. Don't disturb the cat. There was nothing of interest. The cover was too heavy and awkward to lift with my bare hands. Oh, yeah, we have to use the thingy. I lifted the cover to reveal... Nothing here. Can we buzz them? Oh, maybe. I didn't I didn't do it correctly the last time? No. Seems like I did. Hi there, remember? Huh? I'm uh, so I take a oh. Well, let's try this then. Hi there, remember me? Huh? Who? I'm no. uh, it's all so the same. I take a oh. Can we call somebody? Guess we'll try him again. Hello? Who is this? Mr. Todrick? Oh, it's you again. What now? The man I'm looking for is called Khan. He bought a suit from you, remember? Mr. Khan. Yes, I remember him. Yes, I delivered the suit to his hotel. The Hotel Ubu. Uh, I uh, don't remember the room number. It was upstairs. The second room on the right-hand side of the corridor. Thanks, Todrick. That's all I wanted to know. Now I've got you, Mr. Clown. Okay. Gave that tailor Todrick another call. Finally admitted to knowing something. Confirmed that the guy who bought the suit was called Khan. Apparently he's staying at the Hotel Ubu. I'm getting closer. Did I take it this is Hotel Ubu? Yes. So, there's two guys hanging out in front of the hotel. Or we can go inside. 
or we can go around the back, which we probably... Or is this just walking away? No, this is going around the back and probably we'll have to do that to get to the room. Because somebody here maybe considers privacy something important. Excuse me? Yeah! Do you happen to know a guy named Khan? That ain't nobody I know. You ever meet a guy called Plantow? No, I ain't. You missed your chance. If you're quick, you'll catch him at the coroner's. Have you seen a guy dressed as a clown? No, I ain't. Don't tell me I missed him. Oh, that's too bad. I love the clowns, don't you? I've seen daytime television that was funnier. I love it when the little guys get hurt. That figures. Custard pies, hose pipe down the pants, then smack a plank in the kisser. Okay. Do you recognize the guy in this photograph? Is this a trick question? No, I simply asked if you recognized him. Okay then. No, I don't. I don't know if there's any use of asking him about the other stuff. But it is an adventure game. Hmm. Maybe not. Have you ever seen this clown's nose before? Nope. Do you recognize this tissue? Think carefully now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna have to hurry ya. Ooh. Meh. Time's up, so I'll tell ya. It's a used tissue with a liberal dump of Bestheimer's number 12. If you say so. I think if we buzz him, he's gonna kick the crap out of us. So let's try. Shake my hand. Nah. Oh, rats. Anyway. See you later. Not if you see me first. Let's try the other guy, I guess. Excuse me. Yes? I'm looking for a clown. Are you trying to be funny? No, I really am looking for a clown. There are no clowns here except you. Have you heard of a guy called Plantar? No. That name means nothing to me. Do you know a man by the name of Khan? No, I don't. It's very important I get to see him, and... I told you, I don't know it. What does this tool suggest to you? Hard labor. Do they have a sheep there? Do you recognize the guy in this photograph? No, I never saw him. Have you ever seen this clown's nose before? No. What does this tissue mean to you? Are you serious? Oh yes. Take a good look at the substance it's smeared with. You are sick. Very sick. Will you shake my hand? Are you joking? Who knows where it has been? Is that supposed to be an Italian accent? Very overdone. No. Yep. So, two completely useless conversations. Beginning there sounded like can't live if living is without you. Hi there, ma'am. Well, hello. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a man. You disappoint me, my dear. For one foolish moment, I thought. But never mind. Aren't you going to tell me your name? George. George Stobart, ma'am. How sweet! I once had a stable boy called George. I am Lady Piermont. The common reaction is to kneel and stutter, but it's not obligatory. A real lady? I mean, you're an honest-to-God aristocrat? Oh, I don't know about that. Few of my ancestors are honest, not even to God. I can trace my family back to the Normans, but don't let that intimidate you, George. 
Beneath that impressive pedigree, I'm just flesh and blood. The blood may be blue, but the flesh is the plump beef of old England, so to speak. You appear distracted, George. Is there any way I can help you? Oh, great. <laughs> Lots of conversation options. Did you know there's a gangster out front? What makes you think he's a gangster? The Italian suit and the bulge in his pocket? I know plenty of men with Italian suits and bulges in their pockets. That doesn't necessarily make them gangsters. Maybe they were just happy to see him. I'm looking for a murderer. Good heavens! You're a private detective. That's correct, ma'am. What's the term you Americans use? It's on the tip of my tongue. I believe what you're thinking of is dick. Precisely. Anyway, moving on. Have you come across a man who calls himself Khan? I am familiar with only one person named Khan. Genghis Khan, the legendary Mongol barbarian chieftain? No, darling. Kevin. Kevin Khan? I never heard of him. I'd be most surprised if you had, darling. He's a pharmacist in Hemel Hempstead. Organizes fundraising for the Rotarians. Lovely man. Does he have a scar on his cheek? I really wouldn't know, sweetie. Yeah, maybe she misunderstood the cheek part. Are you here in Paris on vacation? No, darling, I'm on holiday. I needed to get away after Algie's funeral. I didn't realize you were mourning the loss of a loved one. I'm not, he was my husband. Algie. Would that be Algernon? I'm sorry to hear about your husband's death. You wouldn't be if you knew him, my dear. It gave me the opportunity to take a well-deserved holiday. Daphne suggested a change of scenery. Paris, she said. A wild romance is just what you need to take your mind off the inquest. Well, the closest I came to romance was being wooed by a drunken Breton chef. I must say I was disappointed with his coco van. Not at all what I was expecting. I was thinking of cutting my holiday short, packing my bags and heading back to Hemel Hempstead. That was until last night. Do we even want to know what happened last night? Tell you what, we'll find out in the next part. So for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like or a comment below. Subscribe to find out what happened last night. And I will hopefully see you in the next part. So until then, have a good one.